Hello everyone, this is BuddyQuabeans217 and welcome to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, I believe where we left off was that we had started the trial and we have to defend Lana Sky, which is going to be, hmm, pretty tricky actually based on everything that we found in the evidence. Um... So yeah, I think, oh yeah, we're going up against Edgeworth, and unfortunately, uh, this case is not going to look too good for him either, so, oh boy, I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> we'll just have to wing it as always, because that's what Phoenix is best at. Off the cuff defense. <laughs> Alright, here we go, trial former. Interesting way of saying that instead of saying trial part one or whatever. Huh. All right. Okay. So let me see. Ah, uh, that's right. We left off with me being unable to speak. <laughs> I don't know why I had such a hard time saying this sentence, but I did. So yeah, I, I blamed Edgeworth for that. All right. <clears throat> me, the name is Angel Star. Don't go forgetting it. I find myself running Lunchland these days. Is that what you wanted me to say, Mr. Edgeworth? I really don't like this song. You know, this is one of those songs in the Ace Attorney soundtrack that's very rare, but I really just don't like it. Hmm. Whatever. <laughs> I guess it suits people like her who I don't care for much. Very well, witness. Please describe the incident to us. The prosecution will wait. I'm not finished eating. <laughs> so cute, judge. The judge is so adorable. Hurry it up. Mm, very well, Mr. Edgeworth. As you know, we usually call on the police to provide a description of the crime. Your Honor... As Mr. Edgeworth has said to the court, I am a professional. Uh, huh? What exactly does that mean? Until two years ago, Miss Angel Starr was a special investigator with the police. She was a first-rate homicide detective. Really? Doesn't look like it, right? But looks can be deceiving. Oh, I haven't done Phoenix Ray in so long, I kind of forgot what voice I do for Emma. What? Miss Star was a detective? Oh, uh, I know who you are. Cough up. Uh-oh. <laughs> that term again. Cough up Queen Angel Star, Your Honor. Long time no see. V very well. Y you may continue with the description, Miss Star. Just who is this lady? That's what I've been dying to know. Why do they call her cough up? <laughs> if I might have the court's attention over here. The parking lot at the prosecutor's office is divided into two blocks. A block is for the prosecutor's office personnel. B block is for visitors and clients. A chain divider separates the two blocks. I suppose that's to keep visitors from taking up prosecutor spaces, yes? The crime took place by a car in the back of A block, in the car's trunk. The killer stabbed the victim with a knife and went to drive the body out. Hmm. Unfortunately for her, there was a witness and an arrest was made on the spot. And who was this valiant witness? Why, it was me, your honor. Huh. Witness, did you see the very moment of the crime? Of course, your honor. Immediately after that, I apprehended the chief prosecutor. Hmm, it seems rather cut and dry, doesn't it? Well, Mr. Wright. Uh, I can't agree on principle, Your Honor. 
That's all you have to stand on. It seems that some poor losers are unwilling to accept the truth, Your Honor. Shall I proceed to crush what little hope they have remaining? If you can, then give them your worst, Miss Star. Hey! You're supposed to be impartial here. <laughs> Wait, are they talking about me? Yes, Phoenix, they are. Alright, let's see how we can uh, debunk this testimony. Somehow, I always knew a day like this would come. I was on my way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend, one of many. <laughs> yeah. When I sensed something, perhaps it was my finely honed detective instincts working. Then, through a wire fence, I saw the chief prosecutor standing next to a garish car. The chief prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Then, she thrust the pointy tip of the knife into Detective Goodman's chest. Hmm... Bringing a lunchbox to your boyfriend? How touching! Hmm. As you can see, there is no room for doubt. The key point of your testimony seems to be nothing other than... The point of the knife which you saw being stabbed into Detective Goodman. So, how does it feel to be so utterly crushed? I... I'm still thinking about that. Uh, it's merely a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine the witness. Just made a joke about that recently with Inferno. About the whole, f oh, it's merely a flesh wound, and then it's actually like your whole arm is gone. <laughs> ah, Monty Python. Alright, so let's see. Of course, in cases like this, there's only, um, important, like, only, like, one important statement. statement. Alright, uh, the wire fence. So the chief prosecutor standing next to a garish car. Holding a knife in her right hand. I gotta look at my evidence again just because I haven't seen it in a while. Traces of victim's blood, no prints. Anything else? What else we got? Left to do loss of blood, one knife wound died within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. Uh, 12 centimeter knife, single stab wound, chest wound. 12 centimeter knife? Um, cell phone, parking lot, wire fence. Okay, so she was in B. Anything else? Prosecutor, does it say how long this is? No. Dang it. Alright. Okay, so let's see. Holding a knife in her right hand. The pointy tip of the knife into Detective Goodman's chest. Let's look at this again. Pointy tip. Well. Hmm. I don't remember. Okay, let's press first. When you're not sure, just press just to see if you can get more details. Tell me more about this knife that the suspect was carrying. Well, I'd say the blade was about 10 centimeters long. Wait, there we go. Is that right, Mr. Edgeworth? It is your knife, after all. Uh, um, yes, that's about right. Prosecutors are, by nature, well-versed in the location of a man's vital organs, I don't think that's necessarily true, but okay. I'm sure it was easier than boiling an egg for my egg salad surprise set. Y you can't testify as to her ability to kill an egg. I mean, a person. Phoenix, come on now. Hmm, perhaps a chicken salad set would have been a better metaphor. So, the defendant was holding a knife. What then? Okay, they mentioned the whole... 
Um, 12 or 10 centimeter thing. I think we have to present this here. No? Seriously? Come on. Come on. They just. What about the fingerprints? Ugh. I thought I was on the right track. What the heck? Sorry, I didn't even read what they were saying, but. Holding a knife in her right hand. Is it this one? If I'm wrong, I'm gonna be really upset, you know. It just doesn't make, like, no? Okay, what the hell. Game, you're pissing me off now. Why? Why? I, <laughs> my logic is not fitting. Let's press. Tell the court why you didn't try to stop this crime. You did see her raise the knife to strike, no? Mmm, the defense has a point. Unfortunately, by the time I realized what was going on, it was already too late. Too late? Yes, the next moment, the chief prosecutor brought down the murder weapon. I... I see. It's only a flesh wound. We can make it. You said that before. Anything else? Scientifically speaking, Miss Starr's testimony is flawless. Sounds pretty fatal to me. L what do we do? Is this it? Is my sister guilty? Let's just keep our heads cool and press the witness a bit, shall we? For some reason, having her panicking next to me makes me calmer. D don't smile like that. Okay, so I do have to keep pressing. Dang it. <sighs> Sometimes it is better to go to the end. That way you could, uh... <sighs> see what they have to say. I know I was right. It's just the game is being stupid, that's all. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Stop being a sore loser, Binks, and just do it. How did you know? I respect the prosecutor's basic abhorrence of crime. Yet their methods are ugly and twisted. Twisted methods will always lead to tragedy. The lunch lady's uninformed opinion is duly noted. Given that they are used to erasing inconvenient evidence at their whim, killing off a detective that knew too much is merely an extension of that. Miss Starr, do you have something personal against prosecutors? I felt that I had found my dream job when I became an investigator. And if I hadn't been laid off by those prosecutors over there, I'd still be one. Laid off? She was fired. To me, prosecutors are nothing more than worms. That said, I am a pro, as you know. My testimony is unbiased and flawless. Very well, you may continue, Miss Star. Okay, I have to just keep pressing. This boyfriend, he's the detective? Not that boyfriend, the security guard. Th that boyfriend? You have several. Can I be one of them? <laughs> Clearly that's what he's thinking. Yes, this boyfriend, that boyfriend, and the other boyfriend. Oh, you got three? <laughs> oh, dang, she actually asked him. Oh boy, he doesn't have to work hard to get this one. <laughs> oh, I can't believe this. Care to join? The yet another boyfriend position is still open for applicants. Uh, she doesn't discriminate with age either, too. <laughs> I'll stick with the lunch, thanks. I think he's like, man, I would only be a boyfriend if, uh, if I was your only boyfriend, not, like, yet another. <laughs> yeah, okay, this is hilarious. Note to self, the judge had to think before replying. The security guard room is in the lot, in A block. Wait, it's up on the second level, so you can see everything from there. That would be the room with the security sign. Incidentally, did you bring your lunchboxes by car? 
Since I'm a visitor now, I parked in B Block. So, she was in B Block when she witnessed the crime. Huh. Okay, let's, um... Let's see, I'm to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend. That's probably it, but let's press again just to be safe. I don't trust this game right now. You sense something. So you're saying you had a premonition of the murder? It felt like... How would you say? Oh yes. It was like the feeling you get when you view a pumpkin chock full of seeds. I have no idea what that means. Speaking of a detective's instincts... Wasn't the victim, Mr. Goodman, also a detective? Yes, well, he was like a young cheese. A young cheese? A pale white cheese, not yet tangy with experience on the streets. A greenhorn. Hmm, I, of course, am hard yellowed sharp as a tech. I bet you stink, too. <laughs> Oh, Emma. In any case, there, in the lot, I felt something stirring in the back of my mind. Then to the wire fan. Okay, this I want to press. By Garish Carr, you mean... Mr. Edgeworth's car, yes. B Mr. Edgeworth's? Incidentally, the knife with which the victim was stabbed was also Mr. Edgeworth's. Wasn't it? Indeed it was. They're all saying, why isn't he on trial? <laughs> hmm, what an odd case this is. And the person you saw, you were sure it was the defendant. I saw her from no further than 30 feet away. I am certain it was her. If she's telling the truth, we're doomed. Let's just do what we can. Even if we don't have any proof, we can always complain. Really, Emma? Witness, in your testimony, you clearly stated the following. Prosecutors are nothing more than worms. Ergo, you are a biased witness. You might want to keep those silly opinions to yourself in the future, rookie. Huh? Rookie? Unless you are willing to risk the consequences of doubting me. I'll fry you like a fritter. Crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. Actually, she looks a little different there, doesn't she? That, that was inspiring. I believe I've heard that tagline elsewhere. You could cry plagiarism? I may be relegated to the lowly post of lunch, lady, but my instincts are honed. Oh boy, so this is why we had to press. Man, that's pretty annoying. <laughs> uh, I already got two oopsies now. Darn it. I wish I could make you guys forget, forget, forget that I did that little oopsie earlier. Uh, oh well. I'm honest with you guys about my mistakes. A, a photograph? You took this? The moment I witnessed the crime, my reflexes took over and snap. I took a picture. In fact, one of my lunchboxes is rigged with a camera. I suppose that's more exciting than just hanging it around your neck. Uh. This is my first time seeing this photograph. You think I'd show it to you, a prosecutor? Think again. But that's bad because you didn't let it get checked by the proper authorities to make sure it's not a forgery. My boyfriend works in the photography division of criminal affairs. Oh, never mind. Well, this is most certainly the defendant. Huh, that's not good. Uh-oh, that is unmistakably Lana Sky. So, what was the defendant doing at the time? Okay, so then they say she was holding a knife in her right hand. Let me see this photo. 
Ah, uh, the moment of the crime. Ah, uh, this is really blurry, but I don't see the knife. Hold on, I don't see her holding the knife. And she thrust the point for the knife into Detective Boone's chest. Um. Comes to a garish car. Is there nothing else I can do? There's so many things I want to point out and, like, argue. There's just so many, but I don't know which one's the right one for this moment. And I think that's my biggest pet peeve with this game. Well, not just this game, I mean, like, Phoenix Wright games in general. Like, sometimes I see multiple things wrong, and I'm just like, uh... uh I want to argue. Should I? Oh, I want to end the video, actually. Uh, but I just... I mean, the time... This is where I would like to end it, honestly. But I haven't accomplished much. Things are just not going well. <laughs> um, okay, I... I feel like because this came out right now, I think this is the best option. I'll have to argue with her about the other stuff later. Oh, finally, I was right. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. And you witnessed this? You saw Miss Skye stab the victim with the knife? As I've already said, yes. I swear it on my finest salmon swirl lunch. Mmm, I'm sure that is a fine lunch. But isn't that odd? Look at this photograph. This is the photograph you took at the very moment of the crime, is it not? Then why is Miss Skye not holding a knife? That's what I just said, yep. Okay. We got this. Ahem. Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Wait, what was with that lackluster reaction? <laughs> he didn't even shout objection, he just says it. What the hell? Objection. Let's be a little more careful with our evidence, shall we? Wait, that can't be Phoenix. That has to be Edgeworth. Why does it say Phoenix? Dang it, typos. <sighs> okay, whatever. Let's be a little more careful with our evidence, shall we? It is you that needs to be more... Wait, that was Phoenix? This whole conversation doesn't make any sense to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, all right. <laughs> anyway, it is you that needs to be more careful, Mr. Wright. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? This photograph was not taken the moment before the stabbing. This was taken the moment after the stabbing. Uh, how can you tell that? Blood spatter. Huh? See the dark crimson stain on the chief prosecutor's coat? Yeah, I saw that too. I mean, yeah, it's black and white, but... It's a black and white photograph! Oh, uh, yes, it's hard to tell, but this could be blood. Well, Mr. Wright, I see no problem here. No problem except you. Mr. Wright, are you going to just sit there and take that kind of abuse? He goes through that all the time, honey. Ugh, you got a better idea? Yeah, we're going to have to do that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate you watching. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. I, I screwed up a lot today, didn't I? I will redeem myself in the next episode. All right, so until next time, hope you have a nice day. Bye.